Hey guys, and welcome back to Castle Crush, and today we are going to be playing with the number one player's deck once again, and today, let's see what we have. We have a Spectre deck with Resurrection, oh my goodness, Resurrection Spectre. Well, I haven't played this type of deck too much in Ranked before, but I guess we'll give it a shot. The other thing is it's got Double Poison, which is also not a card I play very often. I do not play Resurrection or Poison very much in Ranked mode, but evidently it's working for someone. So, we'll try it, although I'm not sure I know exactly how to play this deck. I assume I have to use the poison as uh, the counter here. I think I was starting to understand that. Probably have to use poison on the, that necromancer, although we got it down anyways, so that's okay. Hmm. Yeah, I think I waited too long to use the poison there. Was partly my issue. And then uh, I missed the resurrection. I couldn't decide which to do in what order. And by this point, the problem is they have the Ice Elemental out. They have Valkyrie Mage in top lane. There's only one lane I can play Skeletons even in. So I'm just able to block bottom lane. And then can briefly block top lane a little bit. I was delaying this person, but it seemed like the uh, result was kind of inevitable from an earlier point in the match, unfortunately for this one. Uh, I think a couple of misplays early kind of ruined my chances of uh, getting that. I've played quite a bit with Skeleton and Spectre, but it's just these other cards because Necromancer costs a lot of mana, so I get confused about when to play that. Um, Resurrection is also a significant mana cost. Poison, while a good spell counter, it's only really good against certain particular troops. And I wasn't fully sure what all of those were. Obviously, I know it works well against Reaper and Skeletons. But I wasn't really sure if I wanted to use it on either of those lanes, like in this situation, or if that's just kind of baiting me into it. So I just focused on getting that Necromancer stack going. And then now at this point, I'm like, all right, that's something that could work against uh, poison. So we had good positioning here. I was able to get the Necro set up against that Executioner, which is a good card. But then I got the Spectre down and uh, we have... We have everything where we want it here at this point. Uh, they're playing Executioner, but, you know, I mean, this is, a get, once again, another one of those situations where you find out why, say, Ice Elemental is just better than Executioner because it would have frozen that Spectre, whereas the Spectre, uh, you know, the Ice Elemental would be good against the Spectre and the, the Skeletons, and the Executioner was not good against the Spectre. So, comeback win right there. Managed to uh, get that one done. Die. So, without the mana ritual, I'm definitely having a little bit more confusion in this deck. Trying to get some of these combos out here. It's fairly slow to get Necromancer out without mana ritual. And I just came from a, a skeleton deck where I was using mana ritual to get out like Skull Queen and Spectre. So it's kind of weird sort of slow playing it more um but evidently since the number one player was using this it must have some level of effectiveness i don't seem to know how to play this quite right but this was kind of a bad match up there rough timing but there wasn't much i could play when they have skeletons a spiked statue and a specter in that lane i was like well i couldn't play anything until the uh Spike statue went away. I was waiting for it to go away. I finally got a clutch gust of wind. Really clutch. I was going to lose if I didn't get that gust of wind. And this completely changes 
at least momentarily the complexion of what I had out there I was like whoa so then I kind of jumped I really jumped the gun on that specter should have waited to get more skeletons out there could have taken advantage of him more um, trying to fight back with poison but I'm gonna end up losing uh, that middle lane unfortunately uh, it was a good I tried to fight back but um, didn't quite happen this one I tried to play more smartly I was just patient here I was like okay they had a good start but it wasn't as bad as the previous start my opponent had so I tried to just match as much as what I could of what they put out there and trying to take advantage of those extra skeletons in the skeletons legion to kind of uh, just hold them back especially in the top two lanes did a good job here of holding them back but I kept the specter from doing damage as well until I could get some stronger cards out there then I'm like oh no skull queen this is gonna be rough but luckily luckily uh, our deck is starting to reach its sort of prime time spot now we have a good mana cost to be able to actually get our cards out there a good mana income to get our cards out there and we got the necromancer set up but it goes down but still I'm like I think we can hold here now we got the middle lane established uh, I decide to take out theirs with the poison we got the skull queen down two with the poison so that was pretty effective their dragon looks like it's gonna take out my uh, necromancer maybe not look at that specter doing work on that dragon that's pretty huge got another poison we can hit their necromancer dragon with and uh, all of a sudden this match is starting to turn it's starting to turn here plus 35 unfortunately though I lose my necromancer so I'm at a big disadvantage but I'm trying to decide what to do we do have the gust of wind they can't seem to block my other lane so I decide to go around I'm like we have to go around we're faster than those dragons let's try to win on the sides and there we go that was a hard fought one good game pretty hard fought match mud elemental unfortunately I couldn't stop them from getting that metamorph down and then they play a mage right behind it some really tough combinations here to fight against and I'm not sure how to play this deck quite right to deal with this so I decided to just get the mage down we move the full health one back and use the uh, skeleton swarm to get rid of the weaker mud elemental and then we'll just try and block that fire elemental and then we'll try to probably still maybe go for skeletons legion and then maybe I can do necromancer in the middle lane I have no idea about the bottom lane but I don't know man this is not looking very good we are running out of stuff to do here pretty fast on this one I mean they have a Valkyrie they have two ice elementals and a dragon and a mage and I have a skeleton deck uh, a tough matchup man tough matchup really tough matchup I'm trying to fight back especially in that middle lane seeing if we can get that necromancer going that was kind of a useless block in the top lane because the dragon's still doing splash damage I can delay top I mean bottom lane but again I can't really win um, with the cards I had so unfortunate that looks like a poison situation skull queen deck with Valkyrie I think we can handle this but it's gonna be a lot of pressure so it's a lower level player but if we can take out this Valk I think we can uh, try to turn the tides here 
get the Valk down and get the uh, Skull Queen down, and I think it's a different ball game. I opted not to use Gust of Wind on bottom lane, and it paid off. I got the Valk out of the way. Uh, we can use Gust of Wind on top lane. Really heavy pressure, though, in those other two lanes. Let's block top lane. And now I think we seriously turn this one around. Probably helped add higher level cards here, but... Yeah, now uh, we've got this one in, in the bag here. Could have played a little more aggressively. I kind of felt badly since it was a lower level player. But that's uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. That's what happens when I'm not actively grinding a bunch of trophies. And uh, one, they had one more try with Skull Queen, but that's going to do it. So, my thoughts on this deck, I kind of felt like a very unique deck for the number one ranked player, but um, didn't really feel like I was very good at it. I, I'm better at Resurrection in like double mana speed mode. I find it a little awkward to use in ranked, but obviously some people are good at it. So let me know, do you use Resurrection in ranked? Um, would you use this type of deck? I found it a little awkward to play with, would be the way I'd put it, but um, I saw where the strategy is going. It has some interesting uh, stuff, but personally I preferred the previous skeleton type decks I've used over this one. So uh, that's going to do it for this video, so leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next video.